Kahoot! Let's make learning fun again. Did you know that goldfish have an average attention span of 9 seconds while humans have an 8.25 second attention span? It's definitely safe to say that we as humans are easily distracted. And as you can imagine, this poses a great challenge for educators at all levels to deliver material that captivates their audiences. With shrinking attention spans, educators must find innovative ways to engage learners and hold their focus amidst various distractions. They need to employ interactive teaching methods, incorporate multimedia elements, and break down information into smaller, digestible chunks to maintain and enhance learning outcomes. This is why I've come here to introduce to you a powerful tool that has revolutionized teaching and learning in the classroom. This tool can help you take back the attention of your students and bring their minds to a place of enlightenment where learning is fun. What is this tool called? Kahoot! So what exactly is Kahoot? Kahoot is an interactive game-based learning platform that allows educators to create fun and engaging quizzes, surveys, and discussions for students. Kahoot can be effectively used for students of varied ages and educational backgrounds by customizing quizzes and activities to suit their specific needs. For young learners, it can focus on foundational skills like colors, shapes, and basic vocabulary, while for elementary and middle school students, it can reinforce subject knowledge and promote active participation. In higher education and professional settings, Kahoot can be utilized for interactive lectures, assessments, and staff training. It fosters engagement and collaboration. By adapting the content and complexity of Kahoot activities, it becomes a versatile tool that caters to students across different age groups and educational levels, promoting effective learning experiences. Kahoot helps to facilitate two key methods of teaching, drill and practice and gaming. The drill and practice method allows the student to be guided through a series of practice tasks in this method to help them become more fluent with a new ability or to brush up on an old one. This approach is frequently used to investigate vocabulary development foreign language acquisition, and math facts. For the drill and practice sessions to be effective, feedback should be included to address any mistakes that students might make along the way. The instant feedback provided by Kahoot allows educators to assess student progress and identify areas that require further reinforcement. Gaming, on the other hand, provides a playful environment that calls on learners to follow prescribed rules as they strive to obtain a challenging goal. This is a highly motivating technique, especially for tedious and repetitive content. A game may involve just one learner or groups. They usually require learners to use problem-solving skills or to demonstrate mastery of specific content which demands a high degree of accuracy and efficiency. Teachers can use Kahoot to assess student understanding, encourage participation, and create a dynamic learning environment. Here are some tips and strategies for using Kahoot to support effective learning and teaching. One. Make learning fun by creating interactive quizzes with a mix of question types. Two, use Kahoot as a formative assessment tool to gauge student understanding. Three, encourage friendly competition by awarding points for correct answers. And four, allow students to create their own Kahoot games to promote creativity and collaboration. While Kahoot offers many benefits, there are also some issues to consider when using the tool in teaching and learning. Some common issues include potential distractions caused by the competitive nature of the game, which results in limited time for in-depth discussions or extended responses, as well as there can be accessibility concerns 
for students with disabilities or those without internet access. Despite these challenges, educators can mitigate these issues by using Kahoot strategically. Educators may seek to use Kahoot as a review tool before a test or assessment, incorporate Kahoot into group activities to foster collaboration and teamwork, or provide alternative assessments for students who may struggle with the game format. By using Kahoot thoughtfully and creatively, Educators can enhance student engagement, assess learning outcomes, and create a dynamic learning environment. Let's take a final look to see how businesses use Kahoot during presentations to create engagement. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Kahoot. Let's continue to explore new ways to make teaching and learning exciting and effective.